Allahu Ekber, Allahu Ekber, la ilahe illallah. Allahu Ekber, Allahu Ekber, ve lillahi l-hamd. Nahmaduhu ve nasta'inuhu ve nasta'gfir. Ve na'uz billahi min şürur yanfasina. Ve min seyyiyyati a'malina. Men yahdihi Allah fela mudillala. Ve men yudlilhu fela hadiyala. Ve eşhedü la ilahe illallah. Ve eşhedü enne Muhammeden abduhu ve rasuluhu. أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعة من يطيع الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعصيهما فلا يضر إلا لنفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وتقاتلوا ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا ايها الذين امنوا ادخلوا في السلم كافا ولا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان انه لكم عدو مبين grateful we are to god almighty for giving us one more opportunity to have the blessings of the month of fasting grateful we are to the Lord of the universe and the Creator for making it possible for us to reflect on our own lives and see how we can improve it as the theme of the month of fasting was لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ so that you could come closer to God, you could become God conscious you could understand who you are. You could improve yourself. You could self-discipline yourself. You could ensure that you follow a code of conduct that brings success in this life and the life hereafter. Approximately 2 billion people all over the world who believed in this message that change is possible through the guidance of God. The change is imminent and change is necessary in order to improve not only one's own conditions, but the conditions of the world. We all fasted. It was a blessing throughout the world that each one of us who found this month, despite all the odds that we were facing in this world, <coughs> we tried to live up to the expectation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed upon us. A lot of distractions. There was crisis in Palestine where the innocent people were being killed. There were disasters in India where a lynching mob were after Muslims, raising issues about the hijab, raising issues about the call to the prayers, ensuring that the Muslims do not go to the masajid to offer their prayers, or if they go, they would make life difficult for them. They were Muslims living in the refugee camps in Bangladesh, in uh, Turkey, and other places of the world. And there were Muslims who were still languishing in jail in China. Despite all that, we all tried to improve our own conditions and our own lives in whatever possible manner we could do. And in that respect, Muslims in America played a pivotal and a crucial role. Not only the Muslim communities throughout the United States raised $1.8 billion in zakat funds to help for the poor and needy, <coughs> not only in the United States, but all over the world. 
but they also raised more than $300 million in Zakat al-Fitr to help the local Muslim communities and to help the most local Muslim individuals and families who have not been as fortunate as many others. Mosques are open. And almost in every masjid, there were arrangements for people to offer the Tarawi prayers, to offer extra prayers, to have a tikaf, to support those who are in need of support. It was a delightful sight to see the community helping each other. It was an uplifting scene that at a time when materialism has overtaken the world, at a time when everyone is running after one's own interests, when nations are trying to subjugate others, where communities are exploiting others, there was a community that was open in terms of providing support to each other in every sense of the term. And we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we must understand that Ramadan comes once a year. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his guidance is there for the rest of the year. And we don't have to wait 11 months to fulfill our responsibilities towards fellow human beings and to show our loyalty and commitment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that respect, <coughs> the American Muslim community has to play a pivotal and crucial role in the renaissance of Islam and in the reemergence of the Muslim as a viable and dynamic community in the world that upholds the principles of justice, that upholds the principle of decency, that upholds the principles of human rights, and that takes care of the dignity of each and every human being, regardless of the differences that we have in religion, in cultures, in ethnicity, in languages. <clears throat> American Muslim community is perhaps the most educated community in the Muslim world. With almost 100% literacy rate. With highest number of professionals. With a younger population that Despite all the challenges that has been facing, and despite all the, the apprehensions that people have that uh, uh, the, under the materialistic culture, many Muslims might leave their religion. And despite all the kind of odds that community is still committed to the divine guidance and divine faith, and if anybody wanted to see the manifestation of that, one could have visited the Masajid, more than 3,000 Masajid in the United States that were full during the month of fasting, especially during the times when people returned from their work and then when people go to the Isha prayers or the Tarawi prayers or the Fajr prayers. And other uh, 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 and, and and weekend prayers. Yes, there are, are challenges. Yes, there are many other many issues that the younger generations are confronting at this particular moment. And there are many questions on their mind. But certainly a vast majority of the Muslims, despite all the odds, despite all the challenges, has committed itself to the divine guidance and divine teachings, 
to improve their living conditions and to improve the living conditions for the people. What this community needs, the American Muslim community, is a coordinated effort to ensure that all of the funds that are being raised, all the efforts that are being done to uplift the younger generation and to propagate Islam are properly channelized, are properly organized, and are properly utilized in order to improve the living conditions of people, not only in this part of the world, but in other parts of the world as well. There's much more needs to be done in different parts of the world. There is hunger. There is illiteracy. There is violation of human rights. There is denial of justice. And there is discrimination. And certainly if there is a moral force that through its example proves to the world that it is possible that Islam can be a force in eliminating poverty and in ensuring that the environment is secured and ensuring that the interest is removed, ensuring that dignity is restored, ensuring that the human rights are restored, and ensuring that each and every human being is given the justice that that individual deserves. Certainly, a lot can be changed in different parts of the world. So if Ramadan tells us, La lakum so that you could get closer to God, and become conscious of God Almighty in order to improve your living conditions. And in order, in order to be self-disciplined. And in order to make sure that you fulfill your responsibilities towards yourself, towards the creators and towards humanity. And certainly in the remaining 11 months, this community of Islam this Muslim community can definitely play a very significant role. The strength of the Muslim community in the United States comes from the struggles that this community has gone because the Muslim community is not a, a community that emerged only after the migration of Muslims from different parts of the world, the United States. The Muslim community is as old as this country is. Whether among the natives or among those who were brought here as slaves, Islam was present. And perhaps no other Muslim community in the world has gone through the trials and tribulation that the Muslim community in the United States, especially the African-American Muslims, have gone for the last 300 years. They were robbed of their culture. They were robbed of their religion. They were robbed of their dignity, yet despite all that, they maintained their commitment to Islam and they remain committed to the divine guidance. And more than 35% of the Muslim communities in the United States as an African American provides an evidence and a testimony of the tenacity and the integrity and the courage of the African American just to hold on to their faith despite all the oppression that the structures and the systems had done for the last 300 years. Yes, those were tough times, but they give us a hope that if Islam can survive in the worst kind of conditions, then why not Islam would move forward in the circumstances where 
they are much better than they were 200 years ago or 100 years ago.